Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to the video. Super excited about today. Today we're going to teach you how to make a gold farm in Dragonville. That's right, a gold farm. But before we get into the video today, just want you guys to know this is a strategy for higher level players. So if you are a new player to the game, you just start up a new account. This is not the strategy for you. But I will give you guys a quick little strategy you can use as you start up your new account. So what I'm going to tell you guys is pretty simple. Once you unlock the Galaxy Island in your game, which is this island right here, it should be exactly this spot. You unlock the Galaxy on and a Galaxy Dragon, and then you'll place that Galaxy Dragon you get into your Galaxy on. Now, all the gold you get from your Galaxy on and all the gold you get from your park on your new account should go back into your Galaxy on until you maxed out your Galaxy on. That way, you'll get over hundreds of thousands of gold every day or every time you wake up to check out your account. So yeah, invest all the gold on your new account back into your Galaxy on and max it out. Then get another one if you want to go and get another Galaxy on. It's just the smart thing to do. So that's an easy goal farm for new players. Now, let's go for more competitive. So there's a more competitive kind of goal farm, which we'll get into in a second, but there's a few kinds I want to talk about. There's a basic goal farm and competitive goal farm. The basic goal farm is when you take a whole island and you dedicate it for just rainbow dragons, where you throw a bunch of rainbow habitats on it, you throw a bunch of rainbow dragons onto it, and you call that a goal farm. That's good. That's basic. Now, if you're a competitive player, you'll love this. There is a way to produce over thousands of gold on one dragon per minute. And I'll introduce you to these dragons in just a second. But you'll need these habitats, which are the special habitats. I just like calling them special. I can't pronounce their official name, so we're not going to mess with that. But you take this habitat right here, because this habitat can fit any element of dragon into it, except for gemstone. So it also produces over 1 million gold, which is really good. Now, let me introduce you to those dragons. Now you know the habitat. These dragons are the Satin Dragon and also 500 Dragon. I will show you the breeding hits for them. But with the Satin Dragon and 500 Dragon, and you place these dragons in this habitat, then you place all the boosters that match its element, which is plant, fire, earth, lightning together. So you place the boosters next to the dragons and next to their habitat. They will produce over 1,091 gold a minute, which is awesome. And it's the same thing with the 500 dragons. So if you place them all in this habitat, then you place the 500 dragons in it, and you want to feel fancy and flex to all the big players in the game, you'll produce over 1,248 gold a minute. So that's make sure you have the boosters though. You have to have all the boosters matching their elements. Same thing with satin. Now that you know that, the easiest gold farm you can make with this strategy is by using this habitat right here. We call it the special habitat. This is the large version. That way it produces more gold. And then you slap as many satin dragons in this habitat as possible. Set all the boosters next to it. And dang, you got some good gold. And you're flexing. You're flexing. You're making over gold. 1,000 gold a minute on every dragon in the habitat, which is awesome. And if you want to flex more, you can do the second strategy besides the Satin Dragon and go all 500 Dragon if you're really feeling up to the challenge to try to breed them because they are more challenging to breed than the Satin Dragon. Satin Dragon's easier to breed, but produces still a crazy amount of gold. And 500 Dragon is slightly harder to breed. I would say it's hard in general and because it's got five elements, so you need to have an element dragon with three elements and then another dragon with two elements. So you set that. But yeah, if you're feeling up to it, though, you can get a 500 Dragon habitat farm going on so yeah i recommend just doing the satin dragon habitats because then you got a bunch of satin dragons and a bunch of these habitats you're getting millions of gold every minute or every day it's insane but yeah those are some quick farms you can do in dragonville but let me actually show you guys on how to breed the satin dragon and then the 500 dragon so we'll actually do that right now so we will go over here and we'll go into breeding hints we will go into the dragon itself so we're going to look up plant fire earth lightning and you see the satin dragon's pretty simple if my game doesn't want to glitch out on me. It's right here. It has an 18 hour incubation time. It is plant, fire, earth, lightning. So you can literally just breed a flower dragon with a quick dragon, or you can breed a flower dragon with a crystal dragon, which is pretty easy. Now, if you don't want to go satin dragon and build a habitat farm off that, you can go with the 500 dragon, which will be slightly harder, like I said it will be, because you need to have these elements, and you need to have one dragon with three elements on it, and another drag with two elements on it, which is kind of hard. So we'll show you that here. So what you could do is technically get yourselves a river dragon and a dragon containing the plant, fire, earth, metal. I don't know if there's anything like that. Or you could do this. You could get the nether dragon, if I'm not saying that right, let me know. Uh, but yeah, you can get the nether dragon right here. And then you can slap it with the elements you're missing, which is water lightning, if I'm not mistaken. Is it water lightning or is it something else I'm missing? So it's earth, metal, yeah, okay, so I'm missing that water lightning. I'm missing plant. So what you can literally do is get the nether dragon and slap it together with a swamp dragon. So it's pretty simple. So you can get the swamp dragon plus the nether dragon, and then you can breed it and get the 500 dragon. But the nether dragon is 
rare and you have to wait for it to come back limited time luckily it's bringing it back right now so you can't breed it so there's two kind of gold farms you can do the basic rainbow gold farm there's a more competitive one the satin gold farm and then finally you're feeling daring and spicy you can go for the 500 dragon gold farm which is the craziest one they get and flex off to all the big players I was really talking to somebody on Discord about this, and I was like, you're really feeling up to it, get the Staten Gold Farm, and you want to flex more, go for the 500 Dragon one. But if you did enjoy the video today, make sure to smash the like button, drag and punch the subscribe button, and until then, thank you to all the members who are supporting the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough, so thank you guys again for amazing support. You guys are the best.